Hey, Smokestack fans, Johnny C. here in New Jersey. It is January 13th, 2025. Cold and snowy outside. I'm here in my workshop. What is this thing that we have here, and how am I going to use this for my own generators? This here is a load bank. I just picked it up this past weekend. I did a post on it. This is uh, the first time I'm actually hooking it up in a test mode, basically uh, to my uh, grid power right here, 120 volts. It's going to be uh, changed, obviously, when I hook it up to the generators because I want 240 uh, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I never had one of these things. Uh, it's going to simplify when I uh, do my uh, exercise in my generators. I won't have to hook up 20 million heaters and all, all that crap and cords and whatnot. I don't think too many people out here on the Odin Forum have one of these things. I picked it up for 300 bucks. It's made in the USA by a company that's well known, I guess, uh, for load banks. I'm just walking around just to show you what's in this thing. Uh, I did plug it in. There is a fan going on in there somewhere. I have no clue really how to use this thing, okay? So this is like the first time I've ever plugged it in. Anyway, uh, from what I understand, we got a channel A and a channel B, okay? Uh, I guess ultimately when I hook this up to 240, uh, one's going to be for one leg, the other's going to be for the other leg. I don't know. I got the uh, manual inside the house. I usually try to wing it first before I read the manual. But anyway, let's see what we could do here. Right now, everything is off. Okay, fans are off. At least these big fans here. There is some fan inside going on, okay, as you can probably hear. Uh, I guess uh, to turn on the channels, I'm going to do this. Wow, that's pretty loud. And I guess to step it through as far as uh, the load, it's these guys in, in progression right here. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to end up doing when I load my uh, grid as far as on this one circuit right here. Let's see what we're going to do here. All right. Oh! Didn't blow the breaker, but it's, it's rolling juice. Let's back that down. There we go. That goes on. Let's do it again. Boom. Boom. You should get my amp meter and see how much, uh, how many amps we're drawing. Now, this don't have any meters on it, but I'm not worrying about that because when I run my exercises on my generators, I got separate uh, meters and all that crap. I do have an amp meter here, but I think the battery is pretty much dead. Let's see here. Yeah, this thing is flopping all over the place. Uh, but let's give it a shot. Step one. All right, I think it's this guy right here. Or is it this guy? Again, this meter is probably... Yeah, I need new batteries in this thing. It's like below freezing out here. This thing's shot. Okay. Anyway, let's see if I can burn up the uh, wires in the house now. All right, I'm going to hit this guy right here. By the way, I got two cords into the outlet right now. That's all on one circuit. So let's do this right here. Boom. Okay. Let's do this one right here. Whoa. Lights are going out now. We're really loading down the circuit good right now. Everything's flipping. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this here. It's like strobe light city. Yeah, we're probably cooking the wires now in the house. All right. I don't want to have to call the fire department, so let's do this right here. Surprised that the breakers didn't snap. All right, so basically I got it off right now. All right, so basically what is this thing loading down to? According to what I read on uh, 120, it will draw up to 5 kilowatts. Uh, 240, it'll be 10 kilowatts. Uh, are these things hot? I don't want to touch them because I'll probably end up getting electrocuted. That'll probably be, probably be pretty good. But anyway, uh, just trying to feel from heat for heat. I feel heat from that thing over there. But uh, so far the tests are running good. By the way, when I bought this thing and I hooked it up uh, after getting to the house, nothing ran. There's a special fuse in here. I guess it's a one-way fuse. Must have a diode or something. I don't know. But uh, nothing was powering up. But when I looked at the fuse and I turned it around, uh, here we are. All right, so let's do this again. I see some lights in there. Okay, so let's do this again. Oh, let's get the master on. By the way, when I uh, turn on the master, all these fans are going. Boom, boom. All right, let's get some. Uh... Yeah, look at that. 
Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think those bulbs are getting enough juice. I'm surprised that thing is running right there. I think that's LED. I think that yeah, that's LED. They're all, they're both they're all LEDs. Maybe that other one's on a different circuit. I don't know. But anyway, this thing. Oh, we just blew the breaker. Okay, breaker has blown. Okay, so uh, this is a 20 amp circuit at 120. So obviously, uh, you know, we drew over 20 amps. All right, this thing is great, man. I'm gonna have fun with this thing. All right, that's about it for now. I got to go to the breaker box and uh, turn the breaker back on, get everything back in order, make sure I'm not starting any fires. That's about it. Okay, Johnny C. from New Jersey. The first test is successful. Take care. Bye.